I'm Jeremiah Trotter, play middle linebacker for Clemson University. Trot, what does the game of football mean to you? Game of football means everything for me. I mean, ever since I was little, it taught me just the traits that you need to be successful in life as far as work ethic, you know, just grinding, being competitive. It's really just taught me all those traits that I feel like have stuck with me and taught me how to live my life and be successful even off the football field. And I'm just grateful for the game, that game. I just grow and love it. Ever since I was young, my dad taught me. And it just did so many things for my family that I, I'm grateful for and I just thank God for. Here is uh, what used to be our tour room. On the walls, something that my mom put together is just showing like our, me and my brother's high school career. I actually remember this play. This play was one of my favorite plays. I was on special teams. I, I ended up scooping the guys, you can see. I ended up scooping them. And that was kind of like uh, the play that put my name on the map for a little bit. Like, okay, Jeremiah Charter, he can, he can play a little bit. Perseverance is one of the biggest traits that this game has given me. For me, in high school, I went through a lot of injuries. I broke my arm and dislocated my wrist. That put me out most of the season. And I had to just kind of sit sit on the sidelines and be a off the field type leader. This last one, you go to a lot of guys. Congratulations to Kyle, congratulations to Marvin. This one goes to a young man that for unfortunately for back to back years, wasn't able to be out here with you guys on the field. Right, and he deserves it. Right, God bless you, Jeremiah. After the surgery, I actually had like my blood pressure really high at the time because I'm the type of person, I mean, I don't like to talk too much about, you know, my feelings and everything, but so I was like, just keep everything bottled up, like all the sadness of just being injured and not being able to play with my guy, play with my teammates. My pastor, Rev, he actually called my dad and he said, I mean, Jeremiah's going to really get, uh, get that blood pressure down, really start coming back. He's going to have to open up to God and he's just going to have to let it all out. And I remember, being in the hospital and my, my mom was helping me eat and everything and I just broke down in tears because I was just like everything this, that I was feeling in that moment really just uh, came down and as I broke down in tears, you know, uh, the doctor came in, took my blood pressure and went down just like that. And from that moment, I really just saw that the, the type of hand and type of, type of guidance that God had in my life. And I feel like without the game of football, I may, I may have not gotten that, that realization of like how I did to live my life, how I did to be a man of uh, faith, a man of God. And I really appreciate the game for that. And I appreciate, you know, my parents for introducing that to me. A lot of members at this field right here, boy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man, it's what it, what it all went down here. What we got started, man. Jeremiah, you took a lot of butt chewings out here, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to hear that a few times. Man, mom, mom was up up top every game, filming filming all the games. Yeah, that's because that's, that's what's that over there. Yeah. A lot of people on this side line right here cussing us out. Cussing out Jeremiah. <laughs> Get him off the field. He's 18. <laughs> yeah, he used to, he used to, they used to think I had kids or something when I was playing. He, he, he drove to the game. <laughs> I'd probably say you definitely, definitely have a good bot. Father, son, law. Um, growing up with, as, you know, my dad, not just being my dad, but being my coach, it it builds something that can carry you through life. And he's he's one of those one of those dads, slash coaches that he'll get on you when you need it, and when you need that loving up, he'll he'll love you up too. And I appreciate that him for that, because I mean, you always need somebody in your corner that's going to be real with you, be 100 percent to you, and not just tell you, you know, what uh what you want to hear. You he was little, Charlie, when he was little, right? He wasn't allowed to hit his teammates in practice. When I told him, like, doing some of the scrimmages he couldn't hit, you know, he started crying, like, man, why I can't hit? Everybody else can hit. And I had to explain to him, like, 
we let you hit, but you won't have no teammate. So, and I said, listen, Pops went through the same thing, you know. I said, that's a sign of respect for you. You know, this ain't punishment, it's a sign of respect. I said, trust me, when the time comes, I'm going to turn you loose. I said, you trust me? He said, yes, sir. They came to game day. I said, right, you remember all that pent-up emotion, anger? You let it loose out. So when you see the joy on their faces after winning a game, a big game, you know, they understood why we pushed them so hard. And obviously I pushed my boys twice as hard just because, you know, we expected more out of them. Used to work out a lot down out here in this backyard. This is all this room. This is just one of the bags that we would use to uh, train for pass rush moves, coming out of hips, tackling the bag. As you see, it's a little bit dusty. It's been a little bit worn since uh, me and my brother got went off to college. I want to knock it over one more time for both times' sake. <laughs> That's just a little, you know, a little something how I hit lineman. Just off the field, I know he get, he does he did a good job of just separating football from, you know, family time. But it's family time. It's family time. We, we try not to think about football too much. In the off season, we go about like two, three weeks not working out, not even talking about football. We don't want to do anything football related because he understands, you know, in this game, you got to keep take your mind off football sometimes. And, uh, you know, when he sees this, uh, love you, Dad. I really appreciate you. Uh, I, don't, I don't say it enough, but I just wanted to let you know that. I think my mom chose out that picture right there. They showed him just a balance between uh, both academics and sports. And I mean, they, they she put that up there just, you know, as a reminder, just, you know, make sure I stay focused, not just on sports, but on my academics as well. This this was my first Pop Warner team. So when I first started playing football, all of my pictures, most of my pictures, I don't know why, but I always look so serious or mad. That pretty much describes me as when I'm on the football field. I probably thought I was on the football field right there. All serious and whatnot. Well, uh, off the field, your my trotter isn't as mean as he may seem on the field. I'm really down to earth guy. If you are somebody that shows respect to me, you know, is you know kind and you know loving, then you're gonna get the same guy back. You have a really loyal guy that, shoot, if you need some, you need you need help with something. I mean, I'll be there to try to help you out, and that's really what it, uh, my parents tried to instill in me. I really think that's who Jeremiah Trotter is off the field. Just a kind, loving, loyal person. So, something most people don't know is uh, I really like golf. Yeah, I think it's more just like the type of vibe and this is spacious, it's quiet, and you can be out there by yourself and just have a lot of time to think. But also like the game of golf and like everything it involves as far as like just being very technically sound and having them be focused and very detail oriented. I think that plays a part in how I want to play my football game. And I think that's why I really like golf, everything about it and how it translates to football. Here comes a five man rush. Brown spins out under pressure, thrown down. Jeremiah Trotter gets the sack back to the eight yard line. It's gotta make Dad happy. He did that for 11 years in the NFL, a two-time All-Pro. So growing up, right, you know, we was uh, one of the poor families in, in town, and you know, my dad, we did whatever uh, we could to make an honest day's living. And we go down and cut down trees and and cut it up for firewood, and we would sell the firewood. So, you know, it was nothing on a school night. Most school nights, I didn't get to bed till 11, 12 o'clock at night because I was outside with my dad working underneath the security light chopping up the wood. And then, you know, I got to the NFL, started making a name for myself. I kind of wanted to do something that kind of represented me and, and my upbringing. And so I said, I'm gonna do the ax chop. I remember the first time he did it. I was out of the country and I remember just watching the game and I was almost in tears, you know, because, you know, he's doing something that, you know, he wanted to represent his dad and, you know, show homage and man, it was a special moment for me. Then I told him, I said, well, you done did it once, you gotta keep it going now, you know? And I I said, man, you been practicing on that? He was like, nah, I 
haven't seen it on YouTube, but when he did it, it was flawless. It's been, it's been a long, like 20 years, I'm 20 years old, so like 20 years of just working and just even outside of football. Just like the friends I made and everything, it's crazy thing about a kid from Mount Laurel, New Jersey, played like Pop Warner football, is playing for a, a national championship winning team. It's still crazy to think about. Just like thinking about like how many people even play college football, you know, or even play for a top team in the country. I mean, that's, the number is so small and just to be blessed to be able to be a part of that. Definitely makes me feel grateful. I mean, not many people have the, have this opportunity and it's, that's why I try to just work every single day and just come with that mindset of like, not everybody gets this, gets this opportunity. The waste it would be disrespect to the people that haven't gotten that opportunity and want, and want that opportunity. So I just try to make the most out of it. Make sure his teammates see this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no I told her, no matter how big it gets, you can always, all, all I see is a little three-year-old running around. That's it. <laughs>